Oh, here's a quick video about the service locator pattern in Flutter. So let's say basically we have a basic app that user can log in and after logging in the homepage, user will see some data related to the logged in user. So in this case, we will need some services, right? We will need API service to call APIs and we will have need authentication service for the authentication. So let's say in the authentication service, we will have, uh, we will need to pass a prefer shared preferences instance and the API service. So let's say we want to call the it. So if you want to call the authentic sign in function of this authentication service, we will have to write these three lines. And if we uh, just like that for the Gmail sign in as well, we'll have to call to we'll get these three lines, and it has to be an async function. And this is in this case, I'm calling Gmail sign in. So this is just too much code. Whenever we want to access some service, we will have to do something like this. Some uh, we will have to write a lot of code. So to avoid this, we have a plugin called Get It. We can install this this plugin. I'm going to create a file called Locator beside the main dot dot, and in this Locator, I will add this code, uh, which is basically doing it's uh, getting a LC variable, a Get It instance. For this lc variable which is uh, for the locator meaning of the locator and it will register all the services that we would need in this app with with this locator variable and whenever we want to access these services we can easily access these services with this locator this lc variable so this initialize dependencies function these are the all the registering services happens in this initialize dependencies so in the main app so in the main method, I will place this initialize dependencies function. So whenever our app loads, it will load this, it will register these depend dependent, it will register these services, and whenever we want, we can access these uh, services in our code like this. Let's say I want to access the authentication services sign function. So just like that, so just like that. Just in one line, we can call this function. It's uh, easier than before and less code to access these, call these functions. So for a quick summary, we have this initialized dependencies. We all register all the all the services related to the, uh, that we use in the app in here. And we can access these services functions or services uh, with this LC and pass in the type of the service that you want to access. So that's that's it for this video. That's the service locator pattern.